The Mitchell is Europe's largest library, but in amongst the collection of thousands of books is a rather unique selection of puppets. I met puppet master John Blundell, who houses some of his vast collection of puppets in the landmark building. 72-year-old John has enjoyed an incredible career that has seen him complete a stint in the RAF, study to be an electrical engineer and train with the Moscow State Circus. Not to mention making the marionettes for classic TV shows Thunderbirds and Stingray and creating 1980s kids show Pob. Right, uh, this is a group of Japanese elements and it's a very important part of our work and life because so much of our work is based on Japanese carving skills and the skills and techniques of the puppets which go back uh, some 300 years in Japan uh, and this is a particularly important character called Gabo. As you can see he's a face of a very beautiful woman but suddenly she becomes a possessed woman. I thought I'd test my talents as a puppeteer. John shows me how these movements help bring the inanimate puppets to life. The first thing we have to do is to learn to use the hand mm -hmm. because the soul of the puppet is in the palm of the hand and the further away it goes, the less life and soul the figure has. So we do a lot of different exercises. Yeah. Right. So then the next stage mm -hmm. is to take a simple sphere and, and then Uh, this is what we call a rod puppet or a stick puppet and it, it evolves from folklore really. Uh, the peasants use very simple figures to take uh, the figures through villages, you know, where they dance, folk dance with them and then often pitch them in the water and so on. But uh, it's a classical rod figure. Uh, it just had a simple rod with the head on the top from the inside and two sticks to operate the hands. But then you have to start thinking about this split concentration because this hand has to think about moving the left hand with the thumb and finger, okay. the right hand with the, another finger and thumb, and then coordinating the whole thing. And this really, because um, the, the, the puppet theory is rather um, lyrical, poetic theatre. Mm -hmm. And these figures are much more interesting from a dramatic point of view. They're much more expressive and expansive. John's puppet collection now spans more than a thousand pieces and dates back 2,000 years. It ranges from hand puppets to rod puppets to marionettes. I demonstrate how not to do it before apprentice Stephen shows exactly how it should be done. It's all about balance. And, and, and basic movement. And this figure will walk without any strings at all, which the other figure, uh, string figure required. John and Stephen are guardians of an art form that is becoming extinct in Scotland. But they hope their work at the Mitchell and other Glasgow museums will help capture the imagination of a new generation of puppeteers. <laughs>